Though the evidence itself has not been revealed, U.S. intelligence is claiming to have proof of China manufacturing nuclear weapons, a blatant infraction of international treaties. China has made an unmitigated denial of the charges, restating the belief that diplomatic talks with China continue to crumble. U.S. military forces are mobilizing towards the anticipation of possible hostilities. China again denies any involvement in Kombeng Nikolaz's... Oh, my God. Broadcast through the Internet just minutes ago. Cannot allow my nation to be subjected to the blatant international despotism of the United States or the cronyism of its allies. The world is not yours alone. And the soldiers you sent into it are all equally guilty of American fascism. At 5.30 p.m. Greenwich Standard Time, the United States soldiers captured in a just war against their motherland will be executed. Their deaths broadcast for the world to watch. Fisher, we're getting close to war. If Nikolaj kills these men on live broadcast, we're sunk. Are we worrying about the broadcast or the murders? For now, the broadcast. It'll buy us time to stop the killings. Nikolaj is broadcasting from an antenna on the roof. That's your first objective. You'll find the rest on your opsat. How's it going, guys? This is Syndrome with Mission 7 of Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. This mission, I believe it's pronounced Abattoir. Not 100% sure, but I think that's how you pronounce it. So let's do this. As those guys walk away, go ahead and sneak over here on top of these barrels. And we're going to hop over the wall, and when you drop, make sure you make some noise. That's exactly what we wanted to happen. We want this guard to come over here so we can take him out. Let me take this second to say, um, after I finished this walkthrough, I did go online and watch every single walkthrough I could find for this mission. And I am proud to say that I am the first that has a 100% non-lethal walkthrough. The first to have absolutely zero kills. I was pretty stoked about that. But anyway, after you knock this guy out, we're going to go in this room up here. And we are going to get the data stick from this computer. Now in here you're going to want to use thermal goggles so that you can see where landmines are but you're also going to want to use your your night vision or no goggles at all um, so that you can see where the spotlights are because if you're if a spotlight sees you you will be spotted just for the record I think um, doing this mission non-lethally is probably the hardest thing in the entire game um, yeah, doing this non-lethally is definitely, uh, definitely makes this the hardest mission in the game, just because of the end of it. But you'll see what I mean when we get there. So, if you follow my pattern through this area, you'll get through it just fine. Alright, once we get in this little area, we are going to want to jump up there. So just get on top of this dumpster. 
and run forward and jump off the wall. Now this area confuses a lot of people uh, because if people hear you they will come up and check the roof and then you're pretty much screwed. I want all identifying details stricken from the room. Keep the lights off of the walls. Give them fuller eye lights. We need to clearly see their faces when they die. Where's our sound man? Make sure we're close enough to hear prayers. The trick to this though is uh move obvi obviously move past windows when the lights are off and then also when you drop off of this line uh over here make sure you're holding the crouch button so you drop silently and uh you shouldn't have any problems We're going to climb this fence, and again, when we drop off the other side, make sure you're holding the crouch button so it's silent. And then just turn it off. What the hell just happened? The broadcast antenna's down. We've got no outgoing signal. We're under attack. The Americans are here. They've taken out the broadcast antenna. Get Nikolaj out of here. I want his helicopter airborne now. I want a squad of technicians with an armed escort on the roof and repairing that antenna. I want the Americans found and killed. Yes, sir. Sounds like you shook things up pretty well, but it's only going to buy us a few minutes. Find those soldiers, Fisher. Down here we're going to find a computer, so we're going to want the data stick from that. But be careful because there's also a wall mine right there. And then I'm going to pick up these. I'm not going to use them, so I'm not sure why I'm picking them up, but I will because I can. Now, this room on the left, um, when we go in, make sure you immediately get over to the left, because there's a guy down here that will run right back up through this door. That guy there. And real quietly sneak down the steps. We have Nicolas on board. Estimated departure in. All right. Hop up on the cans. And hop up on this beam. And there's going to be a guy taking a leak over here. And when he heads over to the sink, we're going to knock him out. Gotcha, fool. Alright, shoot the wall. To distract that guard. And we're gonna sneak up behind him and knock him out. Alright, do this pretty quickly because there is gonna be a guard that's gonna come from over that way. We're going to hide him over here in this dark corner. And that other body we are going to come get later, once we take this next guard out. Because he won't go over to that area yet. Alright. 
Alright, when he exits the room, switch off the light just in case anybody else comes in. Get on this computer. And then follow this guy back. Gringo, this is Nicolaj. Kill the American soldiers. Take them to the studio and kill them. We'll release the footage whenever we can. Tell Theron we are moving ahead. I'll retrieve the Ark. This is Gringo. I want the American soldiers prepped and in studio. The executions are going forward as planned. Yes, sir. All right, we're gonna grab this guy. And interrogate him. That was Grinko. He wants us to escort the soldiers to the studio. What the hell? Where are you keeping the American soldiers? Grinko will kill me. He's not as creative as I am. Where are they? Ow! Oh, oh. Where? The basement. Where's Grinko? He'll murder you. He'll kill you all. Where do I find him? He'll find you. Kill me! You copy that, Fisher? The executions are going forward. I heard. We got any more diversions? Your gun's full of them. Make sure that escort doesn't reach our troops. Access the computer. And the guy that we knocked out out here, we're going to hide in here with this guy. Ugh. Doors must intentionally do that to annoy me. Alright. Ah, fucker. Try closing on me again. Alright, we're going to go in here and we're going to get the other guard that we haven't hidden yet. And we're going to hide him in that dark corner with the other one. And then we're going to switch the light back on so that none of the other guards get suspicious when they come in. I should say if they come in. Anyway, we're going to drop down here. Go all the way to the end, and there's going to be a pipe that we're going to climb up. Once we're in here, switch to your diversion camera. What about the broadcast? It's not our place to question. Let's go. And we're going to shoot it right down in the middle of all three of these guards and then release the smoke. Or gas or whatever the hell they call it. all three of the satchels. Then we're going to hide these guys. Alrighty, now we're going to shoot out these lights so that no other guards find these guys. And 
then we're going to switch to thermal. And if you shoot this light up here, you'll lure in one of the guards out here. You'll be able to take him out. This part I was unable to find a way to get past it without taking out uh, just about every single guard. We'll keep two alive at the end. But, uh... Or two conscious at the end, I should say. And, uh, these guys get... Their bodies get found really easily. So, make sure you hide them where I hide, hide them to make sure that they're not found. This guard here is kind of a, a pain if you're not quick because he turns around very quickly once he gets back to the left. Plop. Carry him in with the other one. for this guy to turn around. And grab him. Drag him over to this area. And knock him out. this guard to turn around as well. And grab him. Drag him over here. And knock him out. Make sure you don't forget to grab his satchel. And then I like to get as close to this as possible before I lay him down. This next guard's gonna take a minute. He decided to be difficult. Alright, head on over. Wow. And with him, you can hide him behind this piece of machinery. But again, make sure you're as close as you can be. Alright, this part can be kind of irritating. We're gonna hop up on this- oops. Hop up on this bar. And there'll be a guy, I'm pretty sure you can see him right now. Um, he walks back and forth like in our direction and then away from us. If he's headed in our direction, do not go through this doorway yet. Because he will spot you. There we go. As long as we're through the doorway, when he starts heading that way, you're fine. It's just the doorway that he can see. And he'll spot you. So be aware of that. Drop down here holding the crouch button again. And we're going to hop up on top of this piece of machinery, but not until he starts heading away from us. Otherwise, he'll spot you again. And now we're just going to drop down on him. Alright. Before you grab his body to hide it, turn off this, this turret here. Otherwise, when you pick up his body and you try to go back through that doorway, you will be mowed down.
and then hide him behind this piece of machinery here. Alright. Now be quiet over this way because we're going to want to grab this guard. Drag him back into this area. And whop. Now we're going to go to the right over here. and stick pretty close to this wall that way the guard to your left right now doesn't see you since he is facing us these are the two that we're going to leave conscious and as soon as he's heading away hop up here and then drop down into this grate over here This is the hardest part of the game, trying to get out of this damn hole. <laughs> Alright. Now we're gonna wait here until this guard comes from right to left. And then when he turns the other way, go ahead and go through. And drop down here. All right, next section, run. <laughs> Do this very quickly, get through here, and hide against this wall. Because that guard to the left there, you just saw, he turned around and he's coming this way. So he will spot you if you're not fast. Once he gets in here, go ahead and follow him here and knock him out. and hide him over here in the dark pretty much the rest of this level you're just gonna knock out everybody that you come across makes this level a lot easier there are some you can spare like this next guy I'm gonna knock out you don't have to take him out but it makes everything ten times easier otherwise there's about four different steps you have to go through so it's easier to just knock him out especially since you don't get penalized for it Drop him over here. Alright. Now we're going to need our SC20K. And we're going to shoot out this light up here. And walk up to the edge of the shadow to initiate the guard at the end of the hall walking around. And when he stops, make some noise. Wop. Alright. We're gonna hide him in the dark over to the left. Behind that hay or straw or whatever those bales of stuff are. And I pick up the flare. I don't know why I don't use the flares in this level. Um, but I pick them up anyway. And then shoot out this light. And that will make the turret start shooting at that light so you can get through unharmed. See? Alrighty, this part, don't worry about being seen. You won't be. Just hop up here. Make sure you've still got your distraction camera equipped. But turn off these uh, turrets. And we're going to fire it over here. And release the gas. Now wait for the gas to dissipate a little bit before you go rushing in there and knock them out. Otherwise, 
you'll take damage as well. And we don't want that. So pick up the satchel. We're going to hide this guy over to the left. And this guy as well. And now we're going to shoot out every source of light in the room except for one light bulb. So take them all out. And that one light bulb again is going to be what this turret shoots at when we try to make our way across. So even take out the lamp. Or lantern, whatever the hell you want to call it. Alright. Now, wait for this turret to get quite a ways back to the right and then head right for that middle spot yeah all right now we're gonna shoot out this light and it'll shoot at it and you can get through unharmed again now haul your ass through this part because we're gonna hide right in here and there's the guards I'm a soldier not the saddest Come on, you know you want to watch. I don't. Broadcasting murder is barbaric. You're naive to think it's anything but history. It's a pointless conversation. We don't patrol until the alert quiets. Don't tell me you believe those American super spy stories coming out of Kola. If Nikolads believes them, I believe them. Those stories are nothing but Russian winters and Russian vodka. We should be with the others watching the broadcast. I promise his crotch was not supposed to be the main focus of that. Okay. Here's the hard part. Getting through this with zero kills. Alright. Equip your sticky shocker. God, I hate this part. harder than shit. I kid you not. It's a pain in the ass. But it works. So go in here and talk to this guy. You are American. You're Chinese. The PRC ambassador to Myanmar. I must speak with a representative of your government. They hear everything I do. Shoot. Kong Furong does not represent the will of China. He is a splinter faction of the Chinese army. All of them fanatics and fools. What does he want? First, Taiwan, with others to follow. Gifts to the PRC he thinks they will not be able to refuse. How is Nikolads involved? Trade. Farong provides transport and munitions in exchange for weapons-grade nuclear waste. Does China know? No. And unless they are issued proof of Farong's activities, I fear the certainty of war. What's the proof? On the computer in his office. My office. He has overridden and reset the lock. I force him to open his computer and forward the contents to the PRC. And our countries don't go to war. Such is my hope. Yeehaw, let's do this. The Americans have taken the basement. I want all available men armed to converge on the basement. We'll kill them all. As long as you're behind these boxes, you're hidden. So we're going to wait for this first guy to come out. And zap them, and immediately switch to your airfoil rounds. Wait for this guy to throw his grenade, and then thump him. Alright, knock him out. Come over, we're gonna thump this guy. Then run over and knock him out. I'm not sure if you could see him or not, but you will when you play. Thump that guy after he throws his grenade. Knock him out. I'm going down there. The Franco, you're coming with me. Fisher, kill Grinko. Okay. His men are mercenaries. Their only cause is money and intimidation. So, once Grinko's dead, we scatter. Let's hope so. All right. Help! Jesus, how about the shoot? Not even anybody in here. Anyway. 
get up here and this is the last guy we got to take out so I switched my sticky shocker for this I think it's easier than hitting him with an airfoil round and then running and knocking him out Wait till he leans out. Zap. There you go. Gringo dead. He killed Gringo. Repeat that. Vishislav Gringo is dead. Fisher, Echelon just picked out an intercept. Verong knows that Gringo's dead and Nikolads is gone. That's not good. Get back to the embassy. He's trying to destroy the evidence that could keep us out of a war. Right. There you go. Absolutely no kills, 100% stealth and non-lethal walkthrough, so thanks for watching guys, and subscribe to my channel for more videos.